Yo, what is good my fellow finders? And today, it's a very first video of the brand new channel. I'm not sure what the channel is gonna be called yet, but I'm sure it'll have a name by the time this is posted. And today the subject in matter is cheap metal detectors. And do you buy them? I've got one off Amazon, I bought it a few years back. And I'm not gonna lie, I've got some more old finds of it. I've got a spoon, an old spoon, um, I found, obviously I found coins, I found an old key, I found, you know, plow, pretty much half of a plough. Um, I found a gold ring, which I'll put up here. I've even found some silver. So in a sense, it's sort of paid for itself. But, 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 what I want to talk about is if you want to get into competitive metal detecting, and when I say competitive metal detecting, I just mean, you know, the people who hold events and you go onto a field, you pay like £25 and um, yeah, so I'll show this metal detector that you can buy it still, and I'll show others at the same price range. And it's it cost me £79, £80. But yeah, so back to the comp, back to the topic in hand is the competitive metal detecting. These people have like vanquishes and Nokia, oh my. and whatever it is, simplexes and all this stuff and so I went over the field and yeah I was getting stuff but I just didn't have the depth if I'm honest it goes that deep max I mean and that's on a flat field so for the price if, if you just want to go out onto a park and on some flat grass and and do it I recommend it you know if it's cheap it's cheerful but if, if you generally want to find and I'm not saying find good treasures because I've, I've found some good treasures but this the range is just so much better what you get on a on something that costs let's say two three hundred pounds but you could probably pick up for a hundred and fifty pound pre-owned and then you think if this is eighty pound then you can get one for a hundred and fifty pound you may as well double it and get the, the better thing you know but anyway I'm gonna go out and test it I'm gonna compare it to my brother-in-law he has a simplex light plus or a simplex plus and you will see the difference and just how much like don't get me wrong this works this does it but but hey but anyway so this channel is pretty much the journey on the treasures that we find in the UK I'm not an expert I'll try to bring you news and the latest detecting info and all that stuff and I hopefully see you later on the field test peace Yo, 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 fellow finders. So we're back at the secret location. It's not really a secret, but we're back at the location. There's Bobby. Going into the woods. So we've got the detector on. And you can see it, sensitivity. Let's discriminate all the different things, volume and depth. The thing is with it, so you can put the sensitivity up really high but it'll start going wild. So it'll just start acting wild. So we're back. We've got Bobby over here. Bobby's got a good signal. With his Simplex Plus, is that Bobby? That's it. So 92, 90. So I'll go put the, the cheap on the cheap what depth does yours say the mine says it's eight inches we're gonna dig it This one going wild because the sensitivity is high. It's a real time night hawking. <coughs> Bobby, as new to, we're fairly new to metal detecting. What would you, would you recommend yours? The Simplex Plus? Definitely. 
a lot more depth, a lot more accuracy. Yeah, your reliability is just so much better than the reliability that I got with that. Yeah, in the plug. On the talk of cheap metal detectors, these are fairly cheap. You can obviously get really expensive ones, but what are these? Twenty quid? These are pointless, yeah. and they actually do do the job really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is it small? It's a coin, is it? Is that it there? We've got a coin. A penny. It's a penny. It's a penny. Hey, what do they say? On to the next. So that did actually pick up high on mine and yours as well, didn't it? Yeah. How how deep was that? What, four inches? Yeah, as deep as that too. And always remember, fill your holes, make it look like you were never there. So I've gone from discrimination and I am and Ali, I think. So you can see it is discriminating. So there's a summit over here. I'll give it a try. I think we've got a, a coin. What does it come up on yours, Bobby? Oh yeah, 70s. And we'll put it on the on the cheap. Is that where it is? So, but you still get the the iron signal, so it's confusing there. Right, we'll dig it. We'll dig it. I'll dig this one if you want, Bobby. Yeah. You be a cameraman. So it was a can in the hole. We got a can before it was a coin. The cheap picked it up. So did the, the moderately, moderately expensive Simplex, the beast. On to the next. So we've got another signal here. Four. What's it saying yours, Bobby? Could be a coin or a bottle cap. On the surface, see, my one says four inches down. Two inches down. Two. Yeah, literally, it's just going to be a shovel. What do you reckon, people? Pause it. Is it a coin or is it a bottle top or is it foil? Oh, is that a bit of glass? When you find a bit of glass, it lets you know maybe the top of a wine bottle. That didn't seem that deep, did it? Ah, there. That is the top of a a wine bottle. Whoop! Onto the next. So I think 
Yeah, we are. But iron. There might be a lot of junk. Going mad for iron. So we've got a high. Right, we'll dig it, see what it is. Point right there. Bobby, what does yours say on here actually? So mine, mine says high. Somewhere over here. So you wouldn't dig that. Something there on the surface. A couple inches. Yeah, so as a having your simplex for a, what eight months would would do normally dig that target. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like between 50, 55, 53, could be anything in between lead and copper. See, at the point where I'm at now with this thing is that because it bounces so much from different signals and I, I just don't know whether to dig it. So that's the problem I had on the field. Yeah. Yeah. Deeper in it, or is it? I don't know where. It, oh, I'm not sure, quite sure where it is. Maybe it's there, yeah, more that side. Stony. Get some stony. Or maybe spades. So that was a can, what we dug out. Don't know where it's gone, but it was a can. Wait. Same as coin. Oh. So the conclusion to the video is the cheap metal detector is all right if you want to go find some stuff. Soft ground. in soft ground mm. and just if you just want to get into the hobby but if you actually want to be finding good stuff where you can dig it up reliably definitely spend a bit more much a bit more much a bit more money on a better one than a cheaper one we have been the fellow finders of treasure thank you for tuning in and we'll get you on the next one peace peace, peace.